If you're looking for the convenience of living near downtown, but don't want the high price tag of Mount Pleasant or James Island, then look no further than right here in West Ashley. Welcome back everybody. If you're new here, I am Bill, a local realtor here in Charleston, and I make videos to help people make better decisions when moving to, from, or around the greater Charleston area. So if you're looking to make a move in the next three days to three years, I can help with that. And today we're talking all about West Ashley. Now, while West Ashley may seem like a suburb of its own, it's actually part of the city of Charleston. And it's got its name for a really unique reason because it's the area west of the Ashley River. It's actually not unique at all, but that's where it is. So we are west of the Ashley River and we are north of the Wapu Cut and the Stono River. So that puts it just north of Johns Island and James Island. Now, when we look at West Ashley geographically, we kind of separate it into two different sections. There is the section inside 526 and the section outside of I-526. Now you might want to stick around till the end because as we go through the differences, you're not going to want to miss the drastic price change from going inside 526 to outside. And so let's start with the why people want to move to West Ashley. And the main reason is the location, which we already discussed because you are super close to downtown and not very far from Folly Beach. But like I said, it feels like a suburb of its own because you've got everything that you could need right here in West Ashley. Now, the main commercial district is gonna be on the inside of that 526 loop, and it kind of creates a triangle with Highway 17, Sam Rittenberg, and St. Andrews Boulevard. That's where you're gonna find most everything you need, and you have a big mix of big box stores and local stuff as well. There's a Lowe's, a Home Depot, the Costco is out here, Target is in the Citadel Mall, and You've also got like a Barnes & Noble and Total Wine, but if you're looking for something smaller and local, you can also find those in small shopping centers as well. Um, when it comes to dining, um, some of our favorite spots are out here where you've got Mex One, you've got Boxcar Betty's for some amazing chicken sandwiches, and then also end it with heading over to Turbo Cone, which is one of the only soft serve ice cream places in Charleston. And if you're a fan of craft beer like I am, there's two breweries in West Ashley. One is Frothy Beard and the other is Charlestown Fermentary right in Avondale. Now, it's not all just shopping, dining, and drinking. There's a lot of other things to do. There's a movie theater at the Citadel Mall, so if you're looking to go see a movie, um, they also actually film movies over there too. Um, Danny McBride has set up his production company in the Citadel Mall in the Old Sears, which is where they film the Righteous Gemstones. Now, if you like to spend time outdoors, we're here at one of the great places in West Ashley where you can do that. This is the West Ashley Greenway. Uh, it is eight miles of paved walking, biking, jogging trails, whichever you prefer. It goes from Folly Road right here at the Windermere Shopping Center all the way down to Main Road where you're going to find the new Stono River County Park. Now, apart from the Greenway, other things to do outside is Charlestown Landing, which is actually where the settlers landed in the 1600s and founded Charlestown. And then there's also pocket parks that you can find everywhere. There's West Ashley Park, Ackerman Park, Randolph Park. There's dog parks in a lot of them. So there's just plenty to do inside and outside. And because of the access to the harbor and the rivers, you have access to water in most places. So now we've made it to how expensive is it to live here in West Ashley? And like I said, we're gonna be comparing inside of I-526 to outside of I-526. So the median price year to date inside of I-526 is $475,000 and outside is $432,000. So really it's only 8% more expensive to live inside of I-526, right? 
kind of. Now, what we're not taking into account is the size of those homes. Now, here where we are in Avondale, the homes are much smaller than they are outside of 526. So when we look at homes that are over 2,500 square feet, this is where we see that crazy difference where inside of 526 is $992,000 for a median over 2,500 square foot home. And outside of 526 is in the mid 600s. So when we look at that, it is 47% more expensive inside 526 than it is outside. Now this brings us to the popular neighborhoods and the type of housing that you're gonna find. Inside 526, you're gonna find, like I said, those older, smaller neighborhoods. One of the most popular areas is Avondale and the surrounding area. So you've got like Avondale, Burnsdown, and Windermere. And these homes are all gonna be built in the 40s to 50s with mostly traditional ranch and cottage style homes. And these neighborhoods are walkable to both Avondale and Windermere and what you're gonna find on St. Andrews Boulevard. Um, there's plenty of shopping and dining in all of these areas. So really in here, you're paying for the convenience of everything that's right nearby and being close to downtown. And then when we head outside of 526, you're gonna have completely different neighborhoods there. And this is gonna be especially when you get around Bees Ferry Road, which is seeing a lot of growth right now. You've got Carolina Bay with the homes being built in the late 2000s. And there's even a new phase called Park's Edge at Carolina Bay, but we're waiting on that to be released. So hopefully they start closing in 2024. Now, this is a master plan community with parks, playgrounds, and three pools. Prices here range from the 300s for a townhome into the 700s if you're looking for over 3,000 square feet. Now, if you're looking for a more established neighborhood outside of 526, look at Shadow Moss. This is the home of West Ashley's only golf course, and most of the neighborhood has no HOA, with a few sections having a small HOA. Now, if you don't like an HOA, I've got another great video I'm gonna link down below for you so you can take a look at that. Now, homes in here were built in the 80s and 90s. They're mainly the traditional style ranch, and colonial style homes and prices in the non-HOA section are gonna be from the high 300s into the 500s. But when you get into the areas with the small HOA, you can get into the seven to 900 range with a few exceeding a million dollars. And now let's talk about luxury homes in West Ashley. Now your premier luxury neighborhood is going to be the Crescent. Now this is located along the Wapu Cut right near the Charleston Harbor with the most sought after homes having deep water docks right along that Wapu Cut. Homes in here range from being built in the 50s to brand new, and the median year-to-date price is $3.3 million. So if you're looking to make a move to West Ashley or anywhere in the greater Charleston area, hit me up and be sure to check out this video right here because I think you're really gonna like it. And as always, I'm Bill Olson, your favorite YouTubing Charleston realtor, and I'll see you on the next video.